Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. By now you would have realized that a lot of people are waking up. Unless you're living under a rock, things just don't seem right. The world is not what we think it is. And if you have been like me doing your research, then you have been waking up to some truths. We have been deceived for so long that just like the scripture says, it's going to be hard for us to comprehend this truth because we want to believe the lie. Now I'm in a special place. I'm in the Caribbean. It's quiet. It's easy going. It's beautiful. But something is still not right. Because like you, I found out I am still in the land of my captives. I am still in captivity. And like you, I long for you in the land. So I know there are a lot of videos out there showing who we are, where we came from. But I'm going to come from a slightly different perspective. I'm going to tell this story from the islands of the sea. When you've been lied to, it makes you angry. But I'm going to do my best to do these series, these sets of videos showing who we are and who our God is. In meekness and in love. It doesn't mean that you will agree with me to everything I say. For those of you who choose to continue to sleep and believe the lie, let's face it, I can't help you. But the scriptures clearly said that he's going to wake us up and he's going to cause us to remember him in the land of our captivity. And the time is now. They lied to us about who our father is. Let's face it, the Bible has been doctored. Books were left out. Hundreds of books were left out of the Bible. The name has changed. We call him Jesus now. When the original name was Yahusha or Yahshua. A people they were stolen and they forgot who they are. They have lost their identity. And there is another people who is perpetrating or who are perpetrating a fraud. They're fake Jews. My goal for this series is not to convince many, but to convince a few and to cause you to at least go and do your own research. For the gospel that we have been taught for centuries, I now found out is only one part. There is a second part and I will show you exactly what I mean. Embarking me on this journey to get the true understanding of our Savior, the one we call Lord, true understanding of our our position with Him, how special we are to Him. And I'm talking about the West Indian people right here in the Caribbean, especially the black people. Now I'm not talking about, I'm not getting into any racist rant. I'm not a racist. I believe God created all of us equally. But the Bible speaks of a chosen people, a set apart people, a special nation for himself. 
and I'm about to prove to you that we are that nation. If you were brought here in the Caribbean through slavery, through the transatlantic slavery, you are that chosen people. And the Bible says, when the time has come, you will be the head and not the tail. For years, we have been at the bottom of the pile in everything. Even though in this land, we are the majority. But our, but our Savior, the one we call Lord, our God, Yah is waking us up. And it's time for us now to worship Him not only in spirit, but truth. What is truth? It's the antithesis to lies. So we must know who he is, where he came from, where we came from, and how we are to worship him. There's a scripture that says, your ways are not my ways. We can't worship him how we feel like, when we feel like. Lest we offer strange sacrifice, calling wrong names, and working for our salvation. I'm about to do a couple of things, and it's gonna make a lot of people uncomfortable, but I'm about to expose religion. I'm about to expose Christianity. Let me just state for the record, I'm a follower of the Messiah. I believe that he's the only way to salvation. Not works, not universalism, not mysticism, opening your third eye and all this rubbish. I believe in the one true and living Yah and his son Yahusha HaMashiach, who is the only go-between between man and the Father. But I believe other things too. I believe what they pass as the gospel and as Christianity is a lie. This is what the Bible calls in the last day, the great deception. What you don't want to believe is that we are born in this deception. For the past 500 years, we have been born into this great lie and this great deception. The devil is crafty, masterful, and guising himself and disguising his plans. He has infiltrated everything that we call sacred. Our educational system, our banking system, and our Bible, and our church, and our faith. He has infiltrated. And let me tell you this, if you believe that you have not been fooled by him and you're still waiting like most Christians here for some other deception to come, you are a fool. For you have already been deceived. He has one agenda. He has one clear agenda. That's to destroy Yah's people and to keep us enslaved. So while you think your freedom ended by some declaration, you are still mentally enslaved. For he controlled the way you the way you lived, the way you thought, what you ate what your desires are. I'm not here to bash all the pastors. Some of you are really trying. But 
what you don't know is that the infiltration ran deep. Even in the Apostle Paul's time, the church was infiltrated. But now in this time, it is even greater. How the devil is using even some of you to furnish his work. What you don't realize is that Christianity came directly from the Catholic Church. What you don't realize is that every denomination that calls itself Christian came from the Catholic Church. The root awakening is every religion, whether you're Buddhist, you're Hindu, you're Muslim, it still comes from the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church, I will prove this to you, is the mother of all harlots. That was spoken of in Revelations. And I'm afraid that a lot of our traditional practices in church are directly linked to Catholicism. your communions, your trinity doctrine, your once saved, always saved, your Sunday worships, and for those of you Adventists who believe that you're in the right on Saturday, you're still lost. Every religion, whether you're a Baptist, Adventist, Presbyterian, whether you're Pentecostal, Moravian, Methodist, Anglican, Catholic, all of you are from the Jesuit order. And I'll show you the infiltration runs deep. But how do we get to this point? Where did it all begin? When they took us from Africa, how did we lose our religion? How did we lose our faith in the Most High? And how did we find religion? Why did this happen? Was this supposed to happen? Was this some sort of curse? Follow me as I open your eyes to the truth. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kine and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly. Because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. 
The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powdered and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt, and with the emeralds, and with the scab, and with the itch whereof thou canst not be healed. The Lord shall smite thee with madness, and blindness, and astonishment of heart, and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed alway, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field and shalt gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shalt neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coasts, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thine olive shall cast his fruit. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall the locust consume. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy kine or flocks of thy sheep until he have destroyed thee. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates, until thy high and fenced walls come down wherein thou trustedst throughout all thy land. And 
He shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters which the Lord thy God hath given thee, in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave, so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children which she shall bear. For she shall eat them for want of all things, secretly, in the siege and straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy God. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you, to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even. And at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning. For the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen.
no man shall buy you. Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like vile pigs that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. And I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse, and an astonishment, and an hissing, and a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven. Because they have not hearkened to my words, saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants the prophets, rising up early and sending them. But ye would not hear, saith the Lord. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, saith the Lord, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee. But I will not make a full end of thee. The hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, the slain of the Lord shall be many. 